Howdy, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Pittsville Rants. This rant is going to be a rant that many people have done before, and now I'm going to do it because I can. It's going to be a rant. This rant's called Japanese Anime versus American Made Cartoons, and why I think that the Japanese anime is better. Right now, there are conflict. This is a very controversial topic for some reason, and it there's arguments on both sides. Some people think the Japanese is better. Some people think the American is better, and they don't even take in consideration other countries' or animations. Of course, the only animation from another country that I actually like, uh, you know, that's other than Je than American and Japanese, obviously, is Code Yoko, which is from fr France, I believe. Um. But yeah, now why do I think the Japanese animation is better? Well, in this rant, I'm going to um, ex first explain why I think Japanese animation is better than American-made cartoons. And then I'm going to describe a lot of the arguments based on people thinking that Japanese anime sucks, in their opinions, of course. And then I'm going to explain my opinion on those opinions. So, here we go. First off, American cartoons suck. At least nowadays they do. Alright? America does not know how to make a decent cartoon. I swear to God. They used to be so good, and now they're just horrid. Alright? Back when American cartoons first started coming along, there was Warner Brothers who made the best cartoons in the world. In the 30s and 40s and early 50s, Warner Brother owned the cartoon circuit with cartoons like Daffy Duck, Bugs Bunny, Porky Pig, Elmer Fudd, Lola Bunny, um, Tweety Bird, Sylvester the Cat, the, the mouse thing, the uh, cat that always chases the mouse, um, Yosemite Sam. Um, hell, even Speedy Gonzalez sometimes. Um, and uh, the Tasmanian Devil, the old grandma that owns the Tweety Bird. Um, uh, that weird chicken thing that always stuttered. I forget his name. Um, there's just been... Oh, and also the dog that always chased the cat that always chased the mouse, too. There's been so many amazing cartoon characters made by Warner Brothers. And then they were canceled, of course. Like every good cartoon has been. Um, and they brought them back in the early 2000s as Baby Looney Tunes. Which was... The, the Baby Looney Tunes was okay. It wasn't great, though. I don't like... Then, of course, there was the live-action movie, Space Jam, which kind of spoofed the whole idea of the Looney Tunes. <laughs> which, I, I love that movie. I still have it now, too, on VHS for some reason. And, you know, of course, that Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes. Of course, it's going to be fucking awesome. You know? And... And now they have a new show out called uh, The Looney Tunes Show, which isn't... It's... It's different from the original Looney Tunes, alright, but it's still kind of the same, I guess. Oh, Woody Woodpecker's another great one. But it's, I mean, it they changed it up a little bit for the time, but also kept, you know, by, so, as to make it fresh, but also, uh, kept what we love about the Looney Tunes still there. Right, and even AVGN has parodied the Looney Tunes. He's parodied Bugs Bunny um, a couple times, and he's parodied Woody Woodpecker one time. Um, so yeah, and he and Mike, or he and motherfucker Mike even did a uh, review of the old cartoon, or kind of a review rant type thing of the old cartoons while back too, made by Warner Brothers. 
So basically Warner Brothers along with their producer Chuck Jones um, was amazing with cartoons and cartoons didn't die completely after that. I mean, in the early 2000s or whatever, there was, uh, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, which was an amazing cartoon, but they fucking canceled it! Why? Why did they have to cancel it? That was a, I mean, bes besides the old Warner Brothers cartoons, that was the best cartoon ever. But they cancelled it. They fucking cancelled it. Why, 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 why? Uh. And now cartoons suck. Yes, I'm sorry. I hate, you know, even Disney. I'm sorry, right? But I fucking hate Spongebob. I think he, it's the stupidest idea ever. Alright, he's not funny to me, he's just stupid. Alright, those characters, they scare me, okay? Daffy Duck was pretty crazy in the beginning, but those, alright, you know, and he freaked me out a little bit, but, I mean, the Spongebob characters, they just frighten me. I'm sorry, but they do. Um. Oh my god. And now, there's all this live action shit on Disney, like, um, like, you know, Hannah Montana and, uh, you know, all the Hannah Montana high school musical bullshit. Um, ooh, I'm gonna get hated on now. I don't give a fuck. Um, you know, and even on Cartoon Network now I have, um, that they have live action shit. Alright, I mean, they have Hole in the Wall and Destroy, Build, Destroy, which is, I mean, they're okay, but they shouldn't fucking be on Cartoon Network. It's called Cartoon Network for a reason. And, you know, I never really liked Disney cartoons to begin with. I mean, I understand why people would like them, but I don't. I mean, some of the, some of the Disney movies were okay. Um, like pretty much any movie with Jafar in it, you know, but overall, I just wasn't a huge fan of him as a kid. Um, and all you people saying that Spongebob is kid friendly, but it's not for kids, how the fuck does that make any sense? If something is kid-friendly, then it's for kids, okay? And yes, there are Japanese anime that are for kids. I'm aware of that. And I will usually stay away from them. Usually. It's kind of complicated how I determine whether I'll stay away from them or not. Um, I probably won't try to explain it because it's really complicated. But yeah. If something is kid-friendly, it's for kids! That's what kid-friendly means! Come on, people! But yeah, but nowadays, I mean, and now they have the regular show, too, which... I mean, the regular show is alright. It's... it's passable. That's all it is. It's passable. And of course, Adult Swim has amazing cartoons. There's Metal Ocalypse, there's Family Guy, there's American Dad, there's The Cleveland Show, which was okay. Which was the Cleveland spinoff of the, uh... Of a uh, Family Guy, you know. There's the Boondocks. Um, there's a uh, Robot Chicken, which pretty much parodies like everything in existence. You know, <laughs> it's really funny. Um, and yeah, plus there's the uh, Family Guy and Star Wars, uh, or Family Guy and. Robot Chicken Star Wars specials that they that they show once in a while where they parody Star Wars a lot. Yeah, and Robot Chicken, I mean, and Fa Adult Swim does um, show anime on Saturdays, on Saturday nights too. But you know, that's just on Saturday nights. It's not every day, you know. So even 
And they still show the class. And they still show the stuff that it also always shows, you know. Or some of it, anyways. I mean, the boondocks, though. The boondocks isn't always on there. It's only on there on Saturday nights. But, I mean, the other stuff, you know. Um. As for. Well. Yeah. Anyways. But. Wow. Already taken up over 10 minutes already. Alright, well, now that that's over with, here's why I don't, here's why I like Japanese anime. Now, a lot, now here's some of the complaints I've been hearing. Oh, well, Japan, they don't really do anything, they just sit there and talk. Um, and there's a reason for this. Now, I'm going to try to get the jo guy from the Joseph Show to watch this rant. And he stays specifically in his, well, it wasn't titleless, but basically hating on anime and hating on the anime community. Um, that he does, wants people to stop bringing up the manga excuse. Well, the manga excuse is actually very relevant. Here's the manga excuse. Most Japanese anime is directly... De derivative from manga, which is a Japanese comic book. Not all of it, alright? Fooly cooly, the manga came out afterwards, but most of it is, alright? And they want to keep the same, you know, general quality that the manga had. And I realize he and a lot of others say, stop bringing that up, there's no excuse, but yes it is, because if they don't keep the same general quality, then the show is going to blow. I'm sorry, but it is, and most American cartoons, in fact, none that I can really think of offhand, are derived from comic books. Alright, Spider-Man, what? Spider-Man is, but that's, yeah, that's, one, like, the only one I can think of. Um, well, alright, pretty much every superhero, and no, literally every American superhero is, alright, but... You know, um, so it, it would suck ass if they didn't keep the same quality, and I, along with the majority of the anime community, would be extremely disappointed in them. Alright, I mean, if you're, if, if you're gonna make a show based on the comic book, but not keep the same quality as the uh, comic book, then why, what's the, what is the fucking point? What is the fucking point? Another thing, I, and another reason why I like it, don't, or I don't agree with the bashing on it, because people complain about the animation style and that thing I mentioned before about them just standing there while they're talking. Look, alright, every country has their own different style in making cartoons. Alright, every country has their own different style in making cartoons. Japan, that's Japan style. Alright, and I don't, and let's look at Avatar The Last Airbender, probably the mo most Japanese-esque cartoon in the world. And it did the same exact fucking thing. Don't even try to tell me, people, that no American cartoon has ever done that before. Because, yes, I have heard that. And it is fucking stupid, okay? J Avatar The Last Airbender did the last fucking... Th or did the same fucking thing. And look how successful it was here in America. And it's American-made! Okay? I mean, it's so much like Japanese anime. It's just nuts. Plus, another thing I like about anime is that most American cartoons, they don't have a coherent, well, the storyline's better, and what I mean by that is that they don't have, most American cartoons don't have a coherent, continuing storyline. That's all, how I always like to say it when I talk about the story of Japanese anime. A um, coherent and, co and continuing storyline, where the first episode... Plays and it's over with. The next episode will pick up right where that left off. Alright? Or pretty much right where that left off. Alright? Now, I do like some American cartoons, of course. But 
for the most part, they just don't do that, all right? And this is probably going to go into more than one video here. Um, but, yeah, I mean, and that's what I like. That's why you like in a story, a coherent, a continue, coherent continuing storyline that picks up right after the last, last episode ended off until the end of the series, and you know, and it, the plot actually has an end. It actually has a plot and an ending to it. All right, and I know it seems like some of these anime, like Naruto and Bleach, uh, have no end. But look at Dragon Ball. All right, in the anime, it's known as Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. It finally got an end. Even Dragon Ball, and, you know, then it had Dragon Ball GT, which it wasn't even in the manga, but it does have an end. It's so long, but it does have an end. And Naruto and Bleach will probably end up having endings, too. Um, at least I hope so. No, well, now it's known as Naruto Shippuden to handle the time skip and whatnot, but, yeah. Um... Basic... So that's basically what what I like about the story. It's just that the Japanese animation has a plot and an end to it. Okay. Um Also, the genres of Japanese anime are so diverse. I mean, there's romance, there's action, there's adventure, um, there's comedy, there's slice of life, um, there's horror, um, you know, there's, and, you know, there's anime with those. Genres, and then there's anime that mixes up genres. You know, has a few genres in them and whatnot. So, yeah, um... I guess that's about it for this rant, too. I just wanted to make note... I am not attacking anyone personally. I know I mentioned The Joseph Show. I respect his opinions, but a lot of them I disagree with. But, yeah. So, I guess that's it for this rant, then. Just wanted to get that off my fucking chest here. <coughs> oh, man. Anyways. See you after, guys. I guess. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye.